Hey, you want to learn something useful? Come on, let's go. Hi, this is Chris from My Handyman. I want to teach you how to do all those small things around the house. Small jobs, small tasks, small projects that I know that you can do without calling for help. So today, this is a little unusual. Usually I'm fixing things or showing you how to do stuff. Today, we're going to show you how to iron a shirt. And I'll tell you why as I'm doing it. My ironing board. Now I do my ironing for myself. I own my own business, so I have to look good. And in today's day and age, it seems like everyone is working around business casual, not using the white shirt and tie and jacket anymore, getting things done at the dry cleaners. So I just wanted to show you how to actually iron the shirt. So I have my iron. And this is um, just your, your basic iron. I got it over at uh, uh, Bed Bath & Beyond oh, a couple of years ago. It has a reservoir right here. And this is where I pour the water because it's a steam iron. I'm going to fill that up. There's a little gauge over here on the side. Then I can watch the water climb in there. And it's up to about here now max line is here. I'm going to close this up. I've already got it plugged in. I'm going to put this off to the side while I pull out the shirt. Now, for me, I'm just like you. I'm not wearing white shirts and ties, but I do have denim shirts that I wear out. Um, I might wear a t-shirt out. I have my my green uniform shirts. I don't iron these because they're, they're they're a wash and wear. But these I like. What I do is I unbutton the collar and I spread out the collar first. And I take the iron and put it over onto one side and I tug on the collar a little bit to straighten it out as I'm as I am actually ironing. You can see the steam coming up. You can hear it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move this down just a little bit on this side and I'm going to grab this and I'm going to start over here do the exact same thing. I'm going to pull the collar just a little bit here just to straighten it out and this way you're not getting any folds in the in the material which are very difficult to get out once you've once you've ironed them. Okay. So my collar is flat. I am going to now make it so when it's around your neck, it's not flipping up like this. You don't want that. You want it to stay creased. You want it to look nice and crisp. If you're going to go outside, you might as well dress nicely. Not sweatpants and a crappy t-shirt with a hole in it. If you're going to go out, you're going to look good. Look good. Dress nice. Have your stuff ironed. I'm not say walking around with a, uh, a three-piece suit on or a tuxedo. Have a little pride in yourself. Iron something. Wear nice clothes. If you're going to wear crappy clothes, wear them in the house. Wear them while you're working on something that's going to get dirty. But if you're going to go outside, you're going to go shopping, you, uh, you're going to go to the movies, dress nice. All right, so I got the top of the shoulders down. Got that. Flat. What I do is I flatten it out as if the, uh, my hand is the iron so there's no folds. Okay, go around like that. Alright, now what we're going to do here is we're going to, and that's why this ironing board is shaped like this, so you can put the arm of the shirt right in there. See, the arm went right in. I'm going to open this up a little bit and do the one part of the chest. Okay, so I'm going to go around like this. Go around the buttons. Don't go over the buttons. Buttons are plastic, and the bottom of your iron is steel. Okay, what do you think that's? What do you think's going to happen? Yeah, you're going to wreck your wreck your buttons. Okay. All right. So now we're going to take this and we're going to do more of that very same panel, but we're going to go this way with it. Okay, and this is the side on your side of the on the side of the shirt. Okay? So 
So I'm going to iron this, make it nice and flat. Does this look like rocket science? It's really not. Okay, so I'm going to pull this forward so I can get around the buttons. And you can see in this area here, you can see where you've ironed and where you haven't. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull the top a little bit just to straighten it out. I'm going to go in between the buttons. Just like that. See? It's not hard to do. Boom. Now, what you didn't see me do, now I'm going to pull this panel over to the side. I'm going to do part of the back. What you haven't seen me doing is what panic ironing is all about, is when someone's going like this. You don't do that. You don't do it. Let the iron do the work. It's already getting, giving you the steam. Let the iron just glide over the shirt. Just like that. A couple of passes. One shirt takes about five minutes. Can you spare five minutes to look nice? Yeah, I think you can. So there we go. See, that's nice. All right, so now we get to this point here. You have this part here in the back of the shirt that is um, a decorative piece, and it's kind of for tailored tailoring. It's not a tailored shirt, but they make these tailored like this. And it's a nice, it's a nice, it's a nice shirt. So they put in a nice piece. Now I got two more shirts like this that don't have it, but this one's nice. This is. This is a Wrangler shirt, and I like that. That's, they make a good product. And it's all cotton, which is also very nice. There's no other materials in there. Back and forth, see? Nice and easy, nice and flat. All right, I'm gonna do this little crease right here, right across, boom. All right, now we got one panel left, and then we do the arms. there. See, I flatten it out as if my hand is the iron. This way I know when the iron goes over it, we're not going to have a problem. See, if I think it's going to, I just move the material just a little bit if I have to. And there. All right, go around where the buttons were. Okay, and what I do here is I put this right on the end. I stretch this out just a little bit and I go up. Just like that. All right, let's do the arms. So what I'm going to do is, here's the front of the shirt here where the buttons are. You can see that there. Okay, so I'm going to have, I always iron the front of the arms only because the steam is strong enough to go all the way through um, both sides, the front and the back of the arm. So you see what I'm doing? Here's, here's where your shoulder is. I'm flattening it out, making it nice and flat, making it as if my hand is the iron. Because like I said, if you get a crease in here with the iron, it's a little, it's a little tough to get out. All right. I like a crease in my shirt, so I'm going to go gentle like that. See how I did that? I didn't go back and forth on it. I went like this on the crease. Now that that's flat, I can go like this and it's done. Let's do the cuff. The cuff is here. I iron the inside of the cuff only. Again, there's enough material, there's enough steam for to go through the material. You're probably asking, well, what setting do you have the iron on? I've been ironing a long time. I have it on high. Most of my clothes are cotton and they can deal with that. Here's the other sleeve. Here's the front of the shirt. Here's the pocket. You can see that. Here's the, the bottom part of the seam under the arm here. Under the arm, here's the seam. I'm going to flatten that out. Flatten it out like that. Get that little crease out of there from underneath. There it is. That's gone. 
There we go. It looks good all the way down. Now what am I going to do? That's right. I'm going to go like this. Up like that. Up like that. Up like that. Now I've got my crease. Now I can go gently down this way. Follow the inside of the arm. And it's done. Now, cuff. Inside of the cuff. Why do I do the inside of the cuff? Well, like I said, there's enough steam to go through all of the material. Plus, I don't have to contend with the buttons. The buttons are on the outside of it then. There we go, and there. Now, listen, it's not rocket science. It's a nice shirt. I enjoy it. When I go out, I look nice. I don't look frumpy. I don't look like it just came out of the dryer. It is now buttoned, and I shall hang it in my closet. I'm not going to roll it up in a ball and throw it into the dresser because it's a nice shirt. And you can do this too. I mentioned this before. Just practice. If you don't know how to do it, it's probably why you're looking for videos like this. I'm trying to show you the small stuff that people are basically forgetting how to do. I want you to I want you to know how to do all this stuff because if you don't do it, how are you going to teach someone else to do it? You can do this. I know you can. It's not a big deal. Wait till the next video. Oh, oh, oh. Before you leave, if you would please, please subscribe. My humblest thank yous.